Well, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has said it will utilize the newly established Fraud Risk Assessment and Control Directorate to address the root causes of corruption in our address public sector. The Directorate, according to EFCC Chairman Olanipe Kung-Ulukayode, will focus on uh, preventing fraud, uh, particularly in the procurement and contract award processes within MDAs. Ulukayode made this known uh, during a statewide consultative uh, uh, meeting organized by the Resource Center for Human Rights and Civic uh, Education, Chris's, uh, in uh, Kano. While Ulukayode acknowledged that this move may not completely eliminate uh, corruption, it remains optimistic that tightening the system will significantly reduce its impact. Ibrahim Azikarulai, uh, uh, Executive Director of uh, uh, Chrysest, expressed frustration at the paradox of an idris wealth, noting that despite the country's resources, citizens continue to live in poverty. We, we just, for us in the FCC, I discovered that for 20 years, we have been doing much more of enforcement. You know, allow people to steal money, run after them, chase them, collect what you can collect, jail those you can jail. After you jail, those who can be pardoned will be pardoned. And when they pardon them, you can't do anything. They go back to the same society and they look you in the eyes and they say, you see yourself? You see yourself? You see yourself? Rather than me to wait, I have the power, section six and seven of my EFCC Act, has given me the power to both prevent and to enforce. So right now for me to wait to allow the money to be stolen, given the system that we run, why can't I also expand the scope of my activities to go into the area of fraud risk assessment and control so that I don't have to wait for the money to be stolen before I do something about it. And that is what we are doing in the FCC now. We have just established a directorate called fraud risk assessment and control. It's a whole directorate that I established three months ago. Now we are going into the MDAs, ministries, departments, and agencies. We have over 700 of, 700 of them at the federal level alone. And I have less than 5,000 staff strength. So that is where community involvement comes in. And that's why we are here today. EFCC will not do this work alone. The Kano State and Tarkoloch Agency will not do this work alone. They need you at the grassroots. I don't have enough capacity to go to all the worlds in Kano State and begin to monitor constituency projects. Because the essence of constituency projects is to bring it down to the grassroots, not in Abuja, not in uh, Lagos, but right to Woody, right to all the looms and crannies of Kano State. And that is the essence of not only Kano State, the entire landscape of Nigeria. That is the essence of constituency projects. That is where your community participation is very important. As a platform of active citizens campaigning for the promotion of human rights, democratic governance, and accountable use of public resources, Crasset is always concerned about how public resources can be used for the benefit of the most of citizens. We have always agonized about the paradox of how blessed Nigeria is, yet the people of this country wallow in poverty, misery, and extreme deprivation. In fact, one of the major tragedies of our country is the fact that since the advent of the current democratic dispensation in 1999, trillions of naira of public resources spent by governments at all levels have not translated to a better life for the ordinary citizen. Our organization is deeply committed to raising awareness and fostering dialogue around critical issues, as we believe that a well-informed and active citizenry is essential for the progress of any society. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.